Do I look good? Yeah. Sick. What's up guys, it's Eric from Varus Engineering and today we're going to be doing another install on our GT350R. We're going to be installing what we call dive planes or what other people call or consider canards. Basically what the main goal of these units are to do is increase front end grip by increasing front end downforce. The units do so by decreasing pressure in the fender well. Our units are specifically designed to do this while others may or may not be developing theirs within CFD, so they might just be relying on high end pressure on the top side of the dive plane and low pressure on the bottom side. We specifically focus on creating a vortex through the side of the car and increasing front end downforce. For the install, I'd probably budget about an hour, give or take. Uh, it's a very easy install, double-sided tape, goes on very easily. If you do decide to drill and nut and bolt it, that will take a little bit longer and it is not necessary from our experience with the Porsche and Supra offerings that we have done to date. It, you need to follow the instructions that 3M gives you though. If you follow those, we have not had dive plane come off at speed. Um, we've even had customers all the way up to 180 at this point and the dive planes didn't come off on uh, with some Porsche GT3 RSs. For the install manual, I will first go over what is included in the kit. I will also go over the tools required for installing the kit and then uh, we'll actually do the, the install itself. Let's get to it. So for what's included in the kit, we have a lower dive plane, lower dive plane dub, uh, double sided tape, upper dive plane upper side, upper dive plane, double sided tape. And then we have a template. I have already installed the other side so that I look a little bit smarter on camera. And that's why you only see half of the template instead of the full template. As far as what is required, we just need some isopropyl alcohol, water, and a microfiber. Uh, we'll also use um, painter's tape, generally speaking, to hold the template on and scissors. So the first part of the install for me is I'm going to install the double sided tape on the dive planes, so we'll take our mixture of water and alcohol and wipe that directly onto the surface. Do it on both real quick. Let that air dry. And then, generally speaking, we recommend using or removing the white side first. And you can kind of tell which is the top and the bottom. The pointy side is the, the top and the bottom is more rounded. Generally speaking, I hold it up kind of like this and that way I can slowly install it so that it does not wrinkle and then I'll just follow it down slowly. Alright, so that is basically how I install the double sided tape onto the dive plane. So next up on the list of things that we need to do, we need to basically cut this template out so that we can put it on the car. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of space up here because it gets really thin and I think we actually changed it for the production model. This is an important line right here, radiator oil cooler duct. And then the wheel side kind of helps line that up as well. And obviously we have to cut these areas out. Um, this is not as important. Let's get to it. All right, template fully cut out, ready to go on the car. We're gonna tape it on the car here in a second and then uh, basically finish up the install. All right, so at this point, the template has been installed on car. Uh, you might notice that this edge is not this hard edge into the, the vent, but more this softer edge towards the front of the bumper. Um, this is the wheel well, nicely lined up here. This lines up pretty well here. And then I cut off everything here. And this is the time where you want to double check and make sure that the dive planes fit the bumper really nicely because once you peel off the double sided tape and put them on, it's very hard to get them off, uh, especially if you let it cure. But anyway, if you look really closely, you can tell if the double sided tape is, is uh, touching the bumper on all the locations. And 
Do that with the lower one as well. Once that's done, we're gonna clean this location with isopropyl alcohol water mix per 3M's recommendation, and then we're gonna install. I've double, si double checked everything, so now we're ready to go. So basically just pull the red part off, use the template, and install it onto the car. And what I recommend is massaging the dive plane ultimately into the bumper and trying to get the best possible adhesion. Um, she looks like she's pretty on there. And I'm putting my hand inside this little vent so that I can actually really push them together. And then we'll do the same with the bottom real quick. Rip off the template, make sure everything looks good, which everything looks really nice on this. So I think we did a good job. All right, and the dive planes are basically installed at this point. All right, guys, that concludes the install of the dive planes on the GT350R. We have a lot of other products prepared for this car. We're really excited about it. Honestly, I think it's a GT3 RS killer as far as lap times at uh, Putnam Park with a little bit more aerodynamics. Um, basically, we're about two seconds off pace from a GT3 RS in stock form. So once we add some downforce, some, some serious downforce, I think we've got some a contender for for basically a car that's a quarter million dollars so that's pretty cool um yeah ultimately uh we've got a lot more stuff coming this year so tune in for any other gt350r content super content um we're throwing out other videos of like machining stuff like that anything you guys want to see let us know comment below we always appreciate hearing what you guys would like to see other than just install manuals uh unabomber eric out